are some easy languages I could start with? Well, I've heard of a few, though I don't currently have any personal experience with them. I'll just quickly go over some. Blitz Basic and Blitz 3D are languages made specifically to make games with. It's free to try and $80 to buy. Some games made with it are Platypus and Tank Universal. Dark Basic is another language created to make games with. It costs $40, and with it you can make 2D and 3D games. Some games made with it are The Magic Land and Room War. Flash is quite expensive, but many people make games using its action script. Some games made with it are Alien Hominid and... Oh, you already know a ton of Flash games, you don't need me to tell you what they are. Python is a programming language that is used quite a bit, both as a standalone language for making games and also as a scripting language in conjunction with another language. Python on its own can be used with Pygame in order to handle multimedia in your game. This is a good language to start with if you want to start with something pretty easy and also be able to use it later on when you're ready to go to a more advanced language. As a scripting language being used with another language, such as C++, you can write Python code outside of your C++ program. The C++ program is compiled, but the Python code isn't, and is loaded into the program. Because scripts aren't compiled, it can be modified and the program can be rerun without compiling again. Scripting languages are widely used in games these days, handling things from scripted cutscenes in games, to NPC behavior and AI, to handling calculations and storing tables of information. Python is also used for scripting in many applications also, such as GIMP and Blender. Some games that were made with Python are Art Interest and Lands of Elder Lore. Hmm. What about the object-oriented stuff? How do I make more than just DOS programs? Allegro is a pretty straightforward, easy-to-learn game programming library that you can use with C++. It mainly handles 2D stuff, though there is a 3D component, but it's poorly documented and not widely used. You can also use Allegro alongside OpenGL, with OpenGL handling the graphics output and Allegro handling the input, sound, and other things. Allegro is giftware, meaning that you can essentially do whatever you want with it, and you don't owe anybody anything for it, according to the website. Allegro is also cross-platform, meaning that it can be compiled under Windows, Linux, Mac, and other operating systems, so long as you don't use any operating system-specific code, such as using the Winsock library for network programming. Some games made with Allegro are Alex the Alligator and Icy Tower. SFML, or the Simple and Fast Media Library, is an API that is gaining popularity. In general, it handles the same things as Allegro, works with multiple languages, and it also has a networking layer as well. SFML uses the Zlib PNG license. Clanlib is similar to Allegro and SDL, and can handle graphics, sound, and even has a network library and GUI framework. Clanlib can also be used with OpenGL, and is also cross-platform and it uses the BSD license. SDL, or the Simple Direct Media Layer, is similar to the other APIs mentioned. It is slightly more difficult than Allegro, but it is also more powerful. Besides the basic graphics, input, and sound handling, it has functions for multi-threading and an extended library for sockets. SDL, like the other APIs, can be used with OpenGL, and it is also cross-platform. And SDL uses the LGPL license. Some games made with SDL are World of Goo and Secret Mario Chronicles. OpenGL is a graphics library to handle 3D rendering for your games. It only handles graphics, so you will have to find a supplemental library to handle things like audio and any extra functionality. OpenGL is frequently used with SDL, where SDL handles everything but the graphics rendering, but there are also libraries like OpenAL and GLUT to make things easier on you. OpenGL is cross-platform, and you do not need to pay to release any commercial games with it. Some games made with it are Doom 3, City of Heroes, and Max Payne. DirectX is a collection of APIs, including Direct3D for 3D rendering, DirectDraw for 2D rendering, Direct Music and Direct Sound, and Direct Play for network support. You also do not need to pay to release commercial games with it. DirectX only runs on Windows and Xbox, though. But don't ask me how to make any 360 games, besides with X and A, because I don't know. 
Some games made with DirectX are Bioshock, Crisis, Unreal Tournament 3, Baldur's Gate, etc, etc. Here are a few engines and SDKs that can be used with C++. Some of them can be used with other languages as well. Crystal Space is an SDK that provides functionality for 3D rendering. It is cross-platform, but it only handles graphics, mesh objects, collision detection, and dynamics. So you will need to use it alongside another library to handle things like sound. An example of a game made with it is Yo Frankie. Also, it is under the LGPL license. Dark GDK is a game development kit that can be used with C++, and it has a lot of features for creating games with. It is free to try, but it costs $30 to get a commercial license so you can sell your games. Games created with Dark GDK will only work with Windows operating systems. Airlicht, or however it's pronounced, I don't know, is a 3D engine. It can be used with a lot of languages, including C++ and .NET languages. According to the Wikipedia entry, it is known for a shallow learning curve and a large friendly community. It is cross-platform, and its license is based upon the Zlib libpng license. Some games made with it are Gekkeiju Online and Galactic Dream Rage of War. Ogre 3D is a 3D rendering engine using the MIT license. It is cross-platform and takes care of rendering as well as scene management. Some games made with it are Torchlight and Onk. Some libraries, engines, and SDKs that are used specifically with Java are... JGame is a game engine that can be used to create 2D games. It uses the BSD license. LWJGL stands for Lightweight Java Game Library. It is also for helping users create games. It is meant to extend the functionality of Java in order to allow developers to use other libraries such as OpenGL. It uses the BSD license. JOGL is a wrapper for OpenGL, allowing for 3D accelerated graphics in OpenGL. It is now maintained by Sun, and it is under the name of Java Binding for OpenGL. For c -sharp, both DirectX can be used, and also XNA. XNA is Microsoft's Game Development Toolkit for creating games. It can be used to make games for PC, Xbox 360 under the Indie Games category, and soon for the Zoom. It is free to use to make PC games, though to release your game on the 360 you need to pay a membership fee of $100 a year. Well, those are cool, but really I just want to make an awesome MMORPG. <laughs> If you're not really serious about developing skills as a programmer, and just think it'd be cool to make an MMO, you should probably try out one of these programs that are made specifically for making online games. Mirage Source is a Super Nintendo Final Fantasy IV styled MMORPG engine made with Visual Basic 6. VB Gore is another MMORPG engine written in Visual Basic. I heard that it is a pretty good and elegantly written MMO engine. Extreme Worlds is another free 2D MMORPG maker. It claims you can make your own MMO with no coding in just minutes. And Beyond, or Build Your Own Net Dream, is another free way to create your own online games. From what it says, you can create anything from fantasy RPGs, to action multiplayer games, to online chess. Since it is impossible to keep a video guide up to date with all of the options for languages and engines and such, I have a sub-form on my message board that you can check to have updated listings of all of these.